Kate Terry's news time is 7.52, and we are very pleased to uh, welcome Pat Buchanan to the show. Mr. Buchanan, welcome to Houston's Morning News, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And uh, love the new book, and I've had a chance to read uh, quite a bit of it, Suicide of a Superpower. And, Pat, uh, let's talk a little bit about the reason why you feel America is uh, literally committing suicide. And it all goes back to, in your book, uh, you say uh, that our leaders are rejecting the historic Jeffersonian commitment to a God-given equality of rights, and uh, I, I would agree, we've lost sight mm-hmm. of uh, of you know the Christian aspect of this of this country. Would you is, is that the point you're making here? Well, sure. I've got uh, the the end of Christian America is the second full chapter in the book, and I think the uh, basically the the decline of Christianity, which of course is almost dead in Europe. And its decline in the United States and its uh, severe decline among young people in this country has turned us basically into two countries, one with the maintains the old moral code and moral consensus, and the other repudiates and rejects it. And that puts us very much at war with one another based on our most profound beliefs of right and wrong and morality and immorality. And that's the basis of these endless culture wars we fight with each other. And that's just one of the divisions that is that are pulling this country apart. We're being pulled apart politically. Mm-hmm. Politically, we got uh, deadlock in Washington. Ideologically, people are calling each other very, all kinds of names, accusing Sarah Palin of being responsible for the for the attempted murder of Gabby Giffords, and that's all these things right on cable TV. And also religiously and culturally, uh, one part of the country thinks that uh, what Hollywood produces is the essence of decadence, and the other part thinks it's wonderful stuff. Now, uh, Pat, uh, Pat I, I, I guess the question I would have for you and, and, and the listener is, is, is there a way to turn this thing around? I, I mean, how do we go about doing it? We get Obama out of office, we change administrations. Who goes in? How do we do it? Well, there's some things I think can be turned around. If you if you get a new conservative president and a conservative Senate and a conservative House, I think you may be able to correct this fiscal crisis where we're, we've just spent $4 trillion in deficits in the last three years, and we're headed for another trillion-dollar deficit this year. I think that can be corrected. I think probably you're going to have to pull back American troops from around the world. We can't afford to defend everybody on Earth now. Mm-hmm. Would the Republicans do that? I don't know that they would. Uh, so, But I do think politically I could see a possibility of correction. It's when you get into the cultural, social, racial, ethnic conflicts that it's hard to see how it's done. I mean, Barack Obama came in to be a healer, not a divider. And look where we are now. Oh, he's, he's done nothing but divide. All right, I know I've only got you for a short time. So uh, one final question here. And again, Pat Buchanan, brand new book. Pick it up. It is fascinating. It's called Suicide of a Superpower. Uh, Mr. Buchanan, looking last night at that stage of GOP hopefuls, did you see anyone there that might uh, exemplify the kind of candidate that you just described to me? Well, there's, I don't, I mean, of course, nobody saw a great president when Ronald Reagan just was debating with those guys out in Iowa back in 1980. Um, but look, I, there's a lot of people on that stage that I like and did a pretty good job, and I think that they have real potential. And I think the front runner is clearly right now Mitt Romney, and I think there's a possibility he could be an excellent president. But uh, I've made no commitment to anyone or, or, or endorsed anyone, and I don't intend to right now. I think they ought to sort it out themselves. Very good. Pat Buchanan, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you for what you do for America. The new book, Suicide of a Superpower, excellent read. Thank you, sir. Look forward to having you back. You're very kind. Thank you very much. It is our pleasure. All right, uh, Pat Buchanan weighing in on what took place last night, and we'll take your emails and phone calls coming up next hour as well right here on Houston's Morning News.